This short video just shows the fun you can have with an RSP1A, a laptop computer and a simple antenna. I'm now on the rooftop of the RS headquarters, St Pancras in London and uh, I'm with Pete Wood. So this is the SDR Play software defined radio box. It's the RSP1A from SDR Play. It's a really cool entry level software defined radio box. Um, I'm new to ham radio, so this is really cool to sort of cut my teeth in. It does from one kilohertz right up to two gigahertz, so it's quite a wide band, and you can pick up all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, today we've been listening to radio um, bands from air, so air band, and also you PMR446 and all those open channels, but you can get anything right from uh, HF frequencies uh, to broadcast radio and they're great just to mess around and just see what's around you where you are. So you can get these from RS components, they're under £100 so it's a really cool price for an entry level uh, gadget that you can play with and all you need yourself is a little antenna, your computer, you download the software and off you go. RSP1A allows you to pick up anything from long wave and up to microwaves. We're just showing a couple of examples here starting with the um, PMR446 megahertz. So we're going to see whether we can uh, tune into some radio traffic around here and the best way to do that is probably look for the PMR446 traffic. So PMR446 is basically radios used by businesses and also personal use and uh, it's, it's free to use, uh, it's non-licensed so what we'll do is here with our SDR play panel you can see it's quite bright but we'll type in the top here um, let's go for four four seven. I think is probably more the business end zero zero zero, and we'll then go play. enter and play. Right, and see here where we've got some spikes. There we go. Somebody talking about mopeds. There we go. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can see all these spikes here basically represent audio traffic so there's there's obviously some transmissions going on here which is really cool and with my mouse wheel I can wind up and down and I just use my mouse left to right to choose the spike that I want to listen to more traffic there so I've tried messing about with the squelch here to try and get rid of the that So the other cool thing we can do with this is we can try and pick up some air traffic. So in here in London, there's obviously lots of airports. We've got London City, we've got Heathrow, Gatwick, and lots of private traffic as well. So let's see whether we can pick up something on that. And you're looking at around, well, on AM, around 120 megahertz. So let's key that in, our SDR play here, and enter, and then let's hit play. And then what we should find is these little peaks here should be conversations here we go from pilots so that one here is 120.182 there we go so I've no idea which airport that is could be London City uh, or Heathrow probably with uh, <laughs> with that so yeah so this is that's um, cool to do so that was quite easy to set up and play with. So, so far, me playing with the SDR Play, I've only really used these passive UHF VHF antennas, which are really, really cool, especially when you're on a roof like this. But what we thought we'd do now is have a play with one of these active antennas. So, these are active as in they're powered, uh, and they're great for HF transmissions, picking those up. And they work between uh, 20 kilohertz and 300 megahertz. And this one's from a company called uh, Bon Whip, and they're pretty cool, I understand. So, let's plug one of those in and see what we can pick up. So this is the active antenna bit, and then at the end of this cable here, we've got the power, which we've got plugged in. And all we need to do here with our little SMA connector and adapter, we're just going to plug that into the SDR play, just here, like that. And we're all set to go. So we're going to see what we can pick up on our HF active antenna here. 
and we're going to tune it into one of the uh, high frequency bands. So if we drop down into our little menu here, bands, we go to broadcast, we've a look around about the 22 meters, which is about 13 megahertz. So if we then enter and play, see what sort of activity we've got. This looks like something cool. Let's have a look at that. Okay, I have no idea what that is, but it sounds foreign, so we've obviously got quite a distance there. Have a look down this end. 2100 and midnight to one o'clock EMT. Program comments, news and music, frequency. 11,850 kilohertz okay. and 97.32 So, as you see, there's quite a few peaks here. So the antenna's obviously picking up quite a bit of traffic, which is great. The RSP1A goes all the way from long wave up to microwaves, and you can actually visualize 10 megahertz of spectrum anywhere between those frequencies.